I welcome all my viewers from across the globe. This is IFIS Global Channel, a channel where we discuss African matters and issues that affect our people in Africa and here in the diaspora. Now, the topic we'll be dealing with today is is uh, we'll be trying to we will try to examine why the West is uneasy, very uneasy, about Chinese activities in Africa. You may be aware that the G7 countries recently held their summit in Germany. This summit held between the 26th of June and 28th of June 2022. And as part of the resolution from this summit, the G7 countries decided that they will provide funding to the tune of 600 billion US dollars. This funding will help uh, 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 boost infrastructure uh, in the developing world. Now, Africa is part of the developing world. That's why we are even bothered to consider the, uh, the plan of the G7. Now, who are the members of the G7? The members are the USA, the UK, France, Germany, Japan, uh, Canada, and then uh, you have the EU. You have seven countries that make up the G7, and these are the, uh, the, the leading economies of the earth. Now, it is this resolution of the leaders of the G7 that inspired uh, this topic that we're dealing with today. So this G7 resolution, according to the leaders, is part of what they call the Global Infrastructural uh, uh, and Investment Scheme. And this scheme is aimed at providing infrastructure for low and medium uh, income countries. Now, according to Joe Biden, the US president, I'd like to quote him, the funding is not aid or charity, but it is, according to him, an investment that will deliver returns for everyone. Now, as part of this initiative, a solar plant, a solar plant worth two billion US dollars will be built in Angola. Also, a manufacturing facility, a, a facility that will be used to, to manufacture vaccines will be built in Senegal. And then in addition to this, funding will, will also be provided to tackle climate change, uh, uh, deal with issues uh, relating to gender equality and improve uh, uh, global health. Now, ordinarily, it is not a bad, a bad idea at all to build a, a solar plant in Angola or to uh, provide vaccine production facility in Senegal. It is not a, a bad idea at all. The problem is that when you look deep, you will discover that the intention of the G7 leaders, uh, the, the intention is not, is not as altruistic as, as um, it appears to be. For example, this is what Joe Biden said, and I want to quote him directly. The scheme would allow all countries to see the benefits of partnering with democracies. You have to consider that statement because it is very weighty. Also, consider the following statement from BBC website. This statement was, was published on the 27th of June, 2022. According to BBC, the plan to mobilize 600 billion US dollars in funding is seen as a move, wait a minute, a bit, is seen as a move to counter China's Belt and Road Initiative. So the idea is to counter what the Chinese are doing. Now the question again is what are the Chinese what is what are the Chinese doing or what is the Chinese initiative all about? 
and why is the West very edgy about Chinese activities in Africa and the rest of the developing world? What precisely are the Chinese people doing in Africa that is irritating the West? Now, the Chinese are busy constructing roads, building highways in Africa. As, as of this moment that we're doing this video, the Chinese have built close to 20,000 kilometers of road all across Africa. The Chinese are busy building power generating facilities to provide Africa with needed electricity for development. The Chinese are building bridges all over. The Chinese are building railway lines all over, all over Africa. The Chinese are building seaports all over Africa. The Chinese are providing airports, they are building airports all over Africa. Just go on Google and find out by yourself because these things are not things where this, this, this is not something that is coming out of imagination. These are facts. So, in summary, the Chinese are providing Africa with needed critical infrastructure. That is what they're doing. And whilst the Chinese are busy bu building infrastructure for Africa, what are the Americans doing? They are busy establishing the Af uh, uh, African High Command, what they call AFRICOM. AFRICOM has got its headquarters in Stuttgart, Germany. So the idea of helping Africa is to build a military institution which will be used to contain the people. That is their idea of helping Africa. The idea of helping our people is that they preach human rights, they preach democracy, they teach us how to conduct and organize elections. Now, who does not know, I want to ask my viewers, who does not know that the provision of critical infrastructure leads to accelerated economic growth? Who does not know that provision of critical infrastructure has a, a way of redressing the poverty situation in Africa? Is there anybody who is in doubt today that the rise of the Chinese to superstardom, the rise of the Chinese to superstardom, the development of a massive middle class in China, it is due to the fact that the Chinese decided to develop their infrastructure. So the West is unhappy about the way China is providing these facilities for Africa and also parts of the developing world. Now, the question we want to ask ourselves today is, what has the West done in their several centuries of relationship with Africa? What has the West done? One, the infamous slave trade. Yeah, the slave trade that deprived Africa of her human resources. And then the slave trade that enriched the West after slave trade, then came brutal colonization and exploitation of the resources of our people. They used these resources to develop themselves. And even after the so-called independence, yeah, after the so-called independence, structures were put in place as well to ensure that these countries were never truly independent and their vicious exploitation continued. So the idea of the G7 countries to provide $600 billion is not altogether altruistic. It's got ulterior motives. And the view of this channel is that it is a little too little and too late. Now, if we were to calculate the value of exploitation that Africa has suffered, Africa and other colonized parts of the, of the earth, the value, the volume of, uh, or the value of exploitation by the West, if you were to calculate it beginning from the slave era through colonization, the value is unquantifiable. You can't quantify it. For example, the Indians estimate 
that the British drained India of $45 trillion in two centuries between 1765 and 1938. That's the Indian estimate. Think about that. $45 trillion. Think about that. So the West have been very, very critical of Chinese involvement in Africa. They say, for example, that the Chinese infrastructural drive is a means of providing what they refer to as predatory loans. I repeat, predatory loans, which have the potential of forcing debt-ridden nations to cede assets to the Chinese. What they're saying, in, in other words, is that the Chinese are loan sharks, if you know what that means. Now, I want to ask a question, and I would like to quote from Chinua Achebe, the sage. Chinua Achebe once wrote, he said, When the sympathizer weeps louder than the bereaved, then you must suspect foul play. The Chinese themselves have hit back at their Western critics. And I would like to quote the, the spokesman of the Chinese foreign ministry. Hear him. He says that China continues to welcome all initiatives to promote global infrastructure development. We believe, he continued, that there is no question that various related initiatives will replace each other. He continued. We are opposed to pushing forward geopolitical calculations under the pretext of infrastructure, infrastructure construction. So the idea of the West providing $600 billion in investment for Africa and other developing parts of the globe over the next five years is rooted in geopolitical calculations. It is based on self-interest. It has nothing to do with helping Africa or the rest of the world. I want to thank you for watching. And if you enjoy our content and if you agree with our content, please subscribe to, to our channel. Please like and share and also hit the not notification bell so that you receive uh, updates once we upload uh, new videos. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Ifi Onabo and this is Ifi's Global Channel.